Okay, I'm going to make a little video to show you how I make my dinosaur cufflinks, or to show you the start of them at least. Um, it's a very similar process to make my dinosaur earrings. So I start with a printed out little triceratops in this case. Um, I've designed them on the computer a long, long time ago. And the back of it is just double-sided tape. So I get it with this double-sided tape and stick it down to my silver sheet. My silver sheet doesn't look very silver because it's covered in this blue protective film. So I'm going to have to file and sand at the end, but by putting, leaving the film on it, that it, 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 I buy it in that way, by leaving the film on it, I cut down how much filing and sanding time I have. I wear gloves just for the simple reason of I don't get silver dust under my nails. It's not so much hassle to clean my hands the other day. And I'm wearing safety goggles because my blade it's quite likely to snap, it, it happens all the time. Um, so I have to be careful of my eyes and I'm hoping that I'm careful of my camera as well. So I've stuck down my little dinosaur to my piece of silver. I'll have a look at it, see what angle's best to go from. With the Triceratops I know I'm better off going in from the tail. So here we go. Triceratops. I'll leave the paper and the, uh, the protective film on it while I file around the edges. Then I'll take it off and I'll sand her down. And once it's all sanded, I will solder it to, in this case, for this size, a cufflink finding so that it's like this. Or I have slightly smaller ones to make earrings out of. And I use the exact same process with the saw. So thank you for watching.